All right, you see this sign behind us? They are not kidding. No, they are not. Beware the McCarthy Road. Yes. But is that going to stop us? Oh, I don't think so. No, no. We took this to Prudhoe Bay, so we're going to McCarthy. But you've just got to beware because this sign is telling the truth. Yes. How do you feel about that? Not very well. Man, I knew McCarthy Road was bad. I didn't realize it was this bad. They're trying to hide it. it there's no R. They've misspelled it. Artemis is home for the next four nights, five days, plus or minus a day. So now we're going to head on over to McCarthy. I think at a moment of weakness, I decided that it was okay for us to at least get some, some miles on the road. Okay, the start of a new adventure. Man. <laughs> Not sure about uh, this one. Yeah, we'll see. We're going to just... Take it mile by mile. <laughs> Definitely. So we have separated with Artemis yep. again. Again, but we're taking <laughs> the bikes this time. Yes. Make sure they're back there. Yep. Yeah, they're back <laughs> <Okay>. there. <laughs> so here we're gonna, we go. Yeah, we're going to try to go to McCarthy. Now, Today? Yeah, well, I don't know. Depends. I mean, we could drive until dark. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, we're south enough now, it gets dark. That's true, about 11.30. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so. But just... I don't know, we'll see what the road is like and yeah. you know how far we get. Uh, the other thing is that we've read a few things where um, they're, I'm not really discouraging, but they're telling you that motor homes aren't really seen on this road. Mostly vans and, and yeah. smaller and, and no big RVs. motor coach, no big uh, like big Prevo bus tour buses. Yeah. It's all the little tiny vans. But so we think we're in the gray area. Yeah. So I picked up this book right here, and it's got something similar to the milepost. Um, so we'll yeah. we'll see. Um, I'm a little worried because. It's all gravel, which we knew, but this used to be an old railroad road, and they say whenever it's recently plowed, that some of the old railroad spikes might pop up. So we have got to be on the lookout for that because we don't have a spare tire. We don't have a way to change a tire. Yeah. But at least we have careful. the bikes with us so we can ride our bikes somewhere. That's right. So hopefully the batteries are charged. <laughs> but um, so yeah, we're, it's, it's gonna be interesting. six miles from McCarthy Road is gravel and this is paved and I think there are more patches in this road than there is road it's just preparing us for what's to come it's like we're in training in training that's right we're in training like any good athlete needs to go through training well, that's what this road is doing. It's training us <laughs> for McCarthy Road in a few miles. Okay. <laughs> this road is not bad. There's some bumps and frost heaves and such, but it's, it's not bad. At least it's paved, and the views are really nice. But, man, I've heard that don't get complacent. It's a bad road that we're coming to, and... I think I've heard or read that, man, right before you get to it, there's this really skinny rock half tunnel passage that you got to drive through to get to the other side. Oh, I want to knock the camper off. Oh my gosh. And that's where McCarthy Road begins. So. I don't know. I know we'll fit because trucks go through there and we're not any wider than a truck, but 
man, they're just, they're not making it easy for you. Uh, yeah, this road is just, it's bad. It's bad. just bad. This sun. road with all those signs no they do give you enough warning yes no doubt drive at your own risk all right wouldn't you know it the first part of this road is narrow steep guys. with a hill on one side and a drop on the other side and those Alaska DOT guys they didn't look too happy they were shaking their head I don't think he thinks we belong on this road. I guess because we're a big class C. So ashamed. <laughs> so, and you should be. I should be. So we saw an animal cross the road. I thought it was a to get to the other side. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought it was a porcupine. And as we got closer, Dave says, "No, it's a beaver." And I'm, no, it's a porcupine. Well, he was right. It was a beaver. And so I missed the shot. I got out, ran after him, and missed the shot, but that's okay. So we're driving along about another mile ahead. We see another beaver pond, and there were two beavers in it. And one of them actually came swimming right towards us. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. right towards us. And he did a loop, and he gave us an opportunity to get some great pictures and video yeah. and he was just a really nice and yeah. just cruising. He just didn't pay us any mind whatsoever. Uh -uh. That was just, <laughs> that was neat. I really enjoyed that. Yeah, and not a lot of traffic no, right now no, it's, on it's, the McCarthy yeah, Road. It's about 5.30 at night. Yeah. And like I said, we've got uh, 50 more miles to go. <laughs> we might but, make um, it. We are entering the Wrangell St. Elias National Park and Preserve. This is probably the most understated <laughs> entrance to a national park that we have ever been to. Oh, there's no pullover, there's no sign, <laughs> nothing. Nothing, that's okay. We are in Wrangell St. Elias National Park and that is cool. That's very cool. Yeah. There is an actual speed limit sign on this road, 35 miles an hour. Yeah, but you know, if they put a speed limit on a road, it's like on a curve, they put the speed limit for the largest vehicle, mm -hmm. like trucks. Mm -hmm. If you're putting a speed limit on a, on a road, then you should do it for like a, a big RV or an RV with bad suspension like ours, <laughs> where you can't do 35. Met this gentleman. And we asked him, you know, we've got 40 more miles to go. How's the road? He's like, oh, it's fine. It's better than, you know, anything in, in Canada, Canada on, the, on the Alcan. It's fine. And now we're on gravel and it's big time washboard and mud pits yes. and dips and pits and blah. Lots so, of washboard. And well, we saw a sign that says airport to the right. It's out of the head. Oh. 
Ooh, those are wild horses today. Oh, they are wild Look horses. Look at those wild horses. They have to be because there's not a fence around them. No, and they're right on the runway. I'm going to stop and take a horses. picture of this. Wild horses. Ignore the tethers. All right, don't even look at the tethers. I may have to Photoshop that out. <laughs> but those are wild horses. <laughs> those horses that were on the runway, mm -hmm. they were runway horses. Oh, <laughs> I'm glad I'm behind the camera and nobody can see my face. <laughs> I think we've gone so remote that we lost our GPS on Curiosity. And David's cruising at 13 miles an hour. Oh yeah, the Autobahn. <laughs> <laughs> we are three miles short of McCarthy and it is 10 o'clock at night. And we have come across this huge bulldozer. It is literally taking up the entire width of the road. This thing is huge. And I think that was hers. I think that was hers. She picked it up. Mm. <gasps> oh man. And it looks like they're using the bulldozer to pull out this van that's on the side of the road in the ditch. Let's try not to repeat. There's all kinds of stuff in the road. You want me to get out and uh, clear the road? I don't know if I feel comfortable as driving on that. Half an hour later, we are on our way, and we noticed that, I don't know if you can see it, the um, marks in the road, this is where that big old bulldozer came from. Kind of nice if he'd bulldoze the road a little bit. <laughs> While he was, uh, While he was on his there. way. Yeah, yeah. No well, we got in a little late last night. It's like 11 o'clock and we were tired. So we're going to kind of readjust some things here and get curiosity more level. So at the end of McCarthy Road and Egerton Highway is the Kennecott River. <laughs> I mean, literally, the road just ends right there at the river. But well, there's a footbridge, and there's a town of McCarthy. Now, what's the deal with McCarthy? There's no roads to it. It's just this footbridge. And why are people here? And what's the deal? So we're here for about three, four days. We're going to check it out and see what the deal is. Yeah. If you think you're in the remote, it's part of Alaska. And there's a payphone here. I haven't seen a payphone in, man long time it works and it works it's not dead all right what's up with mccarthy oh they have the phone numbers too for everything oh wow okay this is this is frontier alaska it's also an atv bridge oh yeah and a certain width So a short jaunt across the footbridge and McCarthy's about, about a half a mile or so from where we're staying uh, over there at Kennecott Base Camp. <laughs> but you can see the glacier from our uh, site, the uh, glacier fed river. It's really nice. But we're going to check out the town and just see what uh, what's going on with McCarthy. A display? Is that the first car? Rigor mortis. Rigor mortis. <laughs> Lots of old railroad ties. So I guess the road we drove in on was, most of it was a railroad bed? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, no sidewalks on the road to McCarthy. We are on the road. To McCarthy. <laughs> All right, not so much a secret shortcut, is it? <laughs> and you thought the guy was giving you insider information. <laughs> I kind of did, actually. 
<laughs> not so special, are you? <laughs> oh, I'm still special. Oh, you are. All right. <laughs> I'm a special needs. Uh -oh. All right, it's a shortcut, but it's not without its challenges. I see something pretty. So you guys get to see the squat and snap from Sandra. What show was that on? <laughs> oh, that was Legally Blonde, where you bend down and go, ooh. <laughs> Yeah, that's going on the video. <laughs> this is a shortcut. I don't know if it's a well-used shortcut <laughs> because of the couple of the bridges and such. So it's a, a unique way to get to a town, no doubt. But the water is so clear. Yeah, and this is their drinking water, by the way. That's right, because there are signs saying this is an environmentally sensitive area. So something they didn't tell us about, behind the scenes, the shortcut is the behind the scenes of McCarthy. Incinerator, that's what they do with their trash. I'd like to see if they did something with their mosquitoes. Anyone's wondering about power for McCarthy? It's the town generator back there. And they gotta bring in all the fuel. And this is the town of McCarthy. It's pretty cool. Kind of looks like a frontier town, doesn't it? Interesting. But McCarthy sprang up because of the Kennecott mine. And they provided some services <laughs> for the miners. Uh, mostly it was brothels and gambling and such. It was a very colorful town then and uh, it's very colorful now. Now there's no brothels now. They've got music festivals and uh, obviously it's a big outdoors place uh, with a lot of uh, hiking and and such that uh, originates from here. So really a neat area. It's a cool town, actually. Well, we were having lunch and saw these guys floating by. More crazy people. Well, a McCarthy Road casualty. <laughs> yeah. David's doing a little MacGyvering. So what happened? You lost the bolt? Yeah, so if you look on your seat, this bolt right here. Oh yeah. Yeah, that this clamps down on and then it um, clamps oh, down on okay. that seat post. That internal part came out. So it just makes you wonder what else is rattling. Well, good job. You have just enough spare parts over there too. <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, just enough that I need to keep us running. Road construction. We just did a quick recon here in Kennecott and then we happened to notice where the camper is and it's starting to rain so we're getting out of here. Well, we made it back. Didn't beat the rain. Don't need a shower tonight. Yeah, we don't need a shower, so that's good. Put the bikes away, let's get inside. Yeah, I'm getting wet out here. <laughs> All right, there's a song about this. Our bags are packed. We're ready to go. I don't know if I'm ready to go. <laughs> Pretty soon we're gonna be standing outside our door. We're heading off to jump on some ice. Yes, this is kind of a bucket list item for me. I think the Arctic plunge was you, but hiking on a glacier, that's kind of, I wanted to do that. Yep. We're too chicken to do it by ourselves. But you also wanted to see some water as well. Yes. Blue water pools on the uh, glacier. Yeah. So we're gonna hike to Root Glacier, see if we can uh, 
see some blue water pools, but <laughs> I'm not getting in the water. <laughs> <laughs> so we made the uh, arrangements yesterday. We thought we are gonna have to ride our bikes the five miles into Kennecott, and the guy came out and said, oh no, no, since you booked this with us, we pick you up at the bridge. So we just have to walk that far. Not too bad. I think that's us. All right, so about halfway to the uh, glacier, Jumbo Creek. So he says some of the best water around. We'll probably get some on the way back. Our first really good view of Root Glacier. Look how tiny the people are. <laughs> They're like little specks. We have our crampons on. We're getting ready to get on the ice. Yeah, that's ice right there. All right, that sound you hear is us walking on a glacier. Yeah. See the blue underneath? That's glacier. You've heard of the waves in the Utah desert? Check out these waves of frozen water. I would say this is really cool, but that's kind of Stating the obvious, I'm just going to say this is amazing. Oh, I got that. Oh. All right, well, Sam is checking out the stability. All right, first person wants to come over here. You don't step past the ice axe, and then you can, like, use my arm. Kind of peer over and take a look down into it. How deep is it? Yeah. These guys are crazy. I got that. <laughs> hey, fair, fair. That much, I, love watching. It ain't I bet you do love watching it. So David's going to touch the water. He's going to go beyond that. Actually, pretty good. <laughs> this is a blue pool. <laughs> he comes prepared. Please come up. Yeah. Woo! Yes. I'm stirring it. I'm stirring it. With like an ice cocoa. pick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, that's like <laughs> the coldest water I have felt here you in Alaska. sure you don't want to jump in it? Positive. Hey, oh, man. My yeah, that is. Oh, yeah. yeah. Is there a clock yeah. bag? <laughs> That's a nifty little tool. Yeah. yeah. A little snow coming out of there. That's cool. 
Is he serious? All right, so our guide took us down into the bowels <laughs> of this area of the glacier. <laughs> and behind us, man, yeah. it is tall. You have no sense of perspective whatsoever when you're so far away, even, you know, a couple hundred yards. I mean, yeah. I don't know how tall this is, but it's pretty know. high up. It's pretty high up there. And the water is everywhere. I mean, this glacier is yeah. like it's alive. I mean, you know, the water flowing and... and changing and rivers yeah we have a new sense of perspective oh yeah no kidding it really yeah. does and and behind us he calls it the guide shower yeah. we are nearing the end of our glacier hike it's a glacier expedition it is i'm <laughs> i am so glad we did this guided hike oh i am too Instead try to do this by ourselves. To by ourselves yeah i mean sam knew where all the good stuff was and he took it i mean his pace was perfect and it was great oh, i learned a really lot nice. yeah very so. surprising it is so you know? now we're on top of the glacier which means we got to go to the bottom of it to get across the moraine and then back up to Kennecott. So we get back down there to go all the way up there to go over two miles down that way. <laughs> but hey, it was worth it. Nice. It's a beautiful morning here in McCarthy. I uh, got to get the bikes prepped. Uh, we're going to ride them up to Kennecott. We're going to do a mine tour. I uh, had a call from our daughter this morning that was really nice uh, via Starlink. Starlink's done really well in Alaska. We've been Prudhoe down to Seward, Valdez, and we've had cloud cover and we've had beautiful weather. It's been about 80 to 160 down and about uh, 10 to 20 up. And it's kind of had that range, but we've been able to stream. Uh, I've been able to upload <laughs> Uh, videos and such so it, it's done uh, really well but I'm gonna get the bikes ready and we're gonna take a little ride and then do a tour and see what else today brings us but whatever it does we're gonna bring you guys along we're gonna take a little mine tour yeah yeah historic mine tour we're not gonna go in the mine but we're gonna go in the 14 story building yeah, and apparently oh, yeah. you go all up 14 stories. Yeah. Go down. Yeah, well, you start at the top and I think you go down. But first, because we <laughs> rode <time>. up here, <laughs> five miles up here, we're going to have a little snack before mm -hmm. we do that. Hey, how's it going? You guys, the Kahanamoku? We are. Uh, Welcome to the top of the mill building. This is where the uh, the ore would have terminated from the aerial tramways and entered the mill building. <laughs> You're not rolling, are you? <laughs> I am, actually. <laughs> oh yeah, it's going in too. <laughs> oh, All right, so we just finished with the Mine. Kenne Kennecott Mine Tour. Yeah, the historical mine tour. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that was kind of neat to get inside the 14-story building. Yeah. And see uh, inside, they've done a lot of work to let you see inside the building. Yeah, and the whole process. Yeah, yeah. so it was interesting. Uh -huh. um, I now know why it's on a hill yeah. going 14 stories. Like gravity work for you. Yeah, no kidding. So a lot of fun. But what's uh, funny, a lot of similar processes to what we saw in the gold dredge too. Oh you yeah. Know, the, the crushing and the sorting and uh, yep. and everything. So yep. letting physics and and the weight of the mineral work for you, yes. not against you. Yeah. Remember that when you pan for gold. Yeah. Well, we're not gonna get rich <laughs> on that if I'm doing it. That's the <laughs> truth. <laughs> so we're gonna walk back into town and check get on our bikes, things. check a few things out, maybe get to her a, a sticker or something. <laughs> wow, such a beautiful day. So this is like Skagway. 
<laughs> the last tour bus left. Yep, and, and the it's, town clears out. Yeah. <laughs> I guess you are. Yeah. Lunch? Lunch. Dinner? dinner? I think it's dinner. I think it's dinner. I think so. I mean, lunch and dinner. <laughs> but uh, got a little hungry and we just. I don't know. Had good recommendations of this place. Yeah. So we said, why not? And the view. I think we're eating here for the view. I and the food. So. We haven't tried and it the yet, food. but it looks good. The whole atmosphere was very unexpected, probably close to being a magical experience. This was something that uh, we definitely weren't expecting uh, with these guys that are singing here in the background. All right, so we're heading back home from Kennecott, and we were talking to a few locals. Several locals. And we went down the road before, went up and down the road before, and they said, oh, take, take the, the wagon, wagon trail. trail. We're like, sure. This is like four-wheel drive mountain ATV trail. But it's actually in really nice shape. For an ATV. For an ATV trail. So... We'll continue on. We know it. it's going downhill. We know it's in the right direction. Look behind us. This is where we're coming from. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and this is where we're going to. All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. Lots of roots, lots of rocks, roots. Woo! Yay. We found the end of the wagon road, and this is the main road. Yes, thank goodness. Now, we're not sure whether we turn left or right on this main road. Oh, I, I think, think we, we go, go that way. That way, yeah. yeah. So that was pretty cool. That was. Yeah, different. a little bit of history. Mm-hmm. And not just going on the regular road. Yeah, I'll take the road less traveled. Yeah, definitely less traveled. <laughs> <laughs> One of the things we thought was so unique about McCarthy, Alaska is the fact that you can't drive a car there. You can get to the Brit to the river, the Kennecott River, but then you gotta take a footbridge across. Right. But on the other side of the river. There's We're cars. seeing vans and shuttles and cars. People Bulldozers, live over there. Yeah. And they got to get deliveries for food yeah. and such. So we were feeling real, well, we feel, I don't want to say feeling bad for them, but. Yeah. But, but we, we were, thought, yeah, they had to like literally take the like little hand carts and cart everything across footbridge. Right. Well, what we're discovering is that the only one people that are toting stuff across there on hand carts are the tourists who are staying at the lodge or, or one on of the, the hotels. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so we discovered, we said, let's explore a little bit. Well, we found a vehicle bridge. And this was a lot nicer than the wagon trail, by the way. Yeah, a lot nicer. So this is the private vehicle bridge to get to McCarthy, but we're not gonna tell you where it is. The secret is safe with us.
All right. <laughs> I'm exhausted. <laughs> Man. They were not kidding. Okay. I mean, wow. It, it just... It, it, it's, it's this was like the worst road road yes it was worse than dalton highway yes, i think yes mccarthy is really cool love the, mccarthy the area is beautiful yes man and there was some nice scenery but Gee, this is, uh, yeah, this road is just, it's bad. All right, heard something. Didn't sound good. It was metal and stuff like that. Uh, we pulled over, let someone pass here on McCarthy, and I don't know, um, got to look to see. Oh, gee. Oh, gosh. All right, that's supposed to be straight up and down, and it's, so, we hit something, and, yeah, hit something, because this dents it a little bit here, and that's, oh, gosh, gonna have to straighten that out. Uh, all right, well, we weren't going too fast. We were just pulling over for someone to get by us, try to do the right thing. It's just bad. bad. This sign, bad. matter of fact, this sign, they need to have more expletives on this sign yeah. because they're not doing this justice. No, they're not. Does it say soft shoulders? Does it say that there's so many muddy ruts and washboarding and cobblestoning that if you go too fast, you're going to lose control and go over the edge? That's right. And no. railroad ties and railroad uh, pilings up through the middle of the road. And no. Spikes? <laughs> no. But they don't do that. They they need more up there to warn people. Yeah. You, you just, man. So we were lucky to go more than about eight to ten miles per hour yeah. on forty-five miles of the sixty miles on this road. Yep. So, but it, we're back. Yeah. It was great. We loved awesome it. Awesome time. McCarthy is wonderful. If you have a chance to go, definitely go, but Man, beware, beware of the roads and be they, ready for it. They are not kidding. No. Everyone needs a shoulder to cry on. Everyone needs a helping hand. Everyone needs someone to rely on. Yes, everyone needs a friend So let's come together Celebrate each other Stand united as one We lift our hands up and pray Lay all our love before Him with all of our faith He is the change within us that 